Okay, we're going to do a test and try to build a um, full fuse. So let's go ahead and it's going to be a pretty simple fuse, but what I'm going to do is figure out how wide I want it using the pencil tool. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, you can see your units. I'm going to make it about three and a half in, or yeah, three and a half inches wide. Now, one of the tricks you can do is you can pull this out to 10 inches and then immediately after you click, type in 3.5 inches. Excuse me, hit enter and the line will grow to that exact size. So this is three and a half inches. And we'll go up about two and a half, so 2.5 inches. Hit enter. Then I'm going to hit escape to unbreak the line and go to this side. Hover over this till you see the hot link. It says end point. And if you move across, you'll see you have an indication line. Um, then we're going to go to the arch tool. Create an arch here. If it turns blue, it usually means it's a half circle. So this is uh, one way I built uh, the full fuse design that you see on the platform. Just starting by building formers like this. Um, I'm going to group this or make it a component, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to go to my camera and get a perspective to look at it from the side. And using the move tool, I can now grab the handles, these red handles here, and rotate this any direction I want. I just hit Control Z. If we want to stand it up, and we also want to spin it around like this because for me it's for me it's easier to, uh, to work on the model if the front is facing the, to the left here I usually work from left to right on that okay so that'll be one now what we need to do is copy that so using the move tool you can just grab somewhere and then hit control and you'll notice a little plus sign that means it's going to make a copy of that pull it out going to make another copy and move it a little bit further and go back to this one I'm going to make a, another copy and move it this way now one of the things <clears throat> I want to do is make this smaller so I'm using the transform tool and let's see here I'm just going to bring this oops, if you hold down um, control when you're using the transform tool, you can uh, whoops, you can transform it directly from the center. So I'm just going to scale that down because this is going to be my nose section. I'm going to do the same thing here with this one, uh, holding down control. This will be my tail section. Now, one of the problems is you'll notice that these aren't lined up anymore, so we have to make sure they line up. So what we'll do is use a line tool, find the center of these two, and if you notice, if you scroll along, you'll see when it hits a midpoint, it'll the dot will change, and it'll say midpoint and component. So let's do that, and we'll, we'll put this out along the axis, and you'll notice it's underneath. And we'll do the same thing this way. And anytime you want to break the line, just hit escape. At this point, we can grab this component using the move tool. It's same thing, you look for the, the midpoint. And then, oops. Select it first. Look for the midpoint and, and pull it straight down until it grabs that line. Now we're on the uh, same exact plane as the rest. We'll do the same thing here. Pull this down. Now the thing about the tail section is you actually want that tail section to be a little bit higher normally. And even the nose section. So now it's just a matter of judging where you want it. So I'm just going to move these around, kind of visualize how I'd want this to look. Too much. 
And don't forget the whole time when you have the move tool selected, if you hold down your middle mouse button, you'll see you can toggle between the move and the orbit tool. So that makes it nice. And of course the middle mouse button also zooms. Alright, so we have that done. We can get rid of this middle line. <clears throat> now you want to start connecting these formers together. Now remember, these are components, so if these were exploded and I went across from here to here, this would fill in, but since these are components, they're not going to. Um, so you actually have to fill these sides in. And you have to <clears throat> get up close, and you'll notice each one of these is, consists of a, a line segment here. So you really need to try your best to go from one line segment to the other, or you'll start running into issues where you can't uh, get it to make a face on the, on the line. But you'll notice um, I'm hitting escape to break the line so I can go to a new section. Like if I didn't, if I went like this and then like this and tried to go somewhere else, I would end up having a line stuck here, which I don't want. So I hit escape and just put in the lines that we need. We know we need one from here to here <clears throat> and from here to here and here to here. The last line, this one, will automatically connect the face. But if you start in the wrong spot, for instance, if I started here and I went to here and here, it's not going to make a face. So I just hit escape and go back here and make and connect that face. <clears throat> now the other thing is, you could do this design just as a half um, and then copy the other half. But I didn't. I just, I should have, but I didn't because um, what you want to do is set up we could have made the skin a component and then anything we did on one side would be mirrored to the opposite side which uh, I'll show you on the next though next one I do here so, let me get this finished okay so there's that's going to be the front of the aircraft <coughs> now See if I can do this. One thing is, if you don't like the look of this, you could always. Now we know that this is a um, a component here, but we also know if we hide this, if you right click on it and go to hide, we have basically the shell here in the front. And you could select that shell and move it anywhere you want. Like that looks a little bit better. And then we'll go to edit, unhide, last, or all, either way. And then select our former and move that up. Now, when you're building this, you have to keep in mind what size uh, material you're using, the thickness-wise. Because there's going to be a, an issue when you go to wrap this with, uh, you know, if you had 6 millimeter foam. Now, 1 millimeter wouldn't be a big deal, but, you know, for instance, uh... I'm going to put a sixteenth here, just as a guide. Should be using the offset tool. It's been a while since I made this design, so. Oops. So using the offset tool, you could do it. It's kind of a tricky tool. You have to hold the button down until you're done with it. So now we can actually go through and erase. The rest of this uh, former because we know that all we need is the inside one that'll give us the correct gap around there when we go to wrap the skin on it all right so now let's see one thing I didn't realize is that it actually um, is going it, it actually um, did all of them because they were a uh, component so I'll show you if I hit control Z you see how it's building the line around here so let's just this will be good we'll leave that we'll leave this line here and then we'll use that to draw the rest of uh, the rest of this out <clears throat> 